So a lot of people are asking you about um, why you always say, how can I provide you value? Right. And how you can essentially, because you know that book, you know, how to win and influence yeah. friends. So like, w what are your thoughts behind that? Well, it's, it's relationship capital. So it's kind of like that Zig Ziglar quote, you know, when you help enough people get what they want, you know, then eventually you'll get what you want because they help you get there. That's what happens. But it has to be the intention of that. You follow? Meaning that the intention is like, I generally do want to help people. First thing I want to do is I always want to provide more value to them than they ever could give me. You know, going up to hit the goals that I would like to hit, I don't have the resources those people have, or I don't have the leverage of followers that they have. So sometimes you feel impotent a little bit by saying, hey, listen, I, I might only have a small following, but hey, at least what can I do? What, what are my resources? How can I help you? How can I provide value to it? And then I'll, I, I work for them to get their mission and goal out. And in doing so, they usually ask me, well, what can we do for you? I'm like, nothing, nothing right now. Because later on, sure, you know, when I, when I need them, I'll ask that favor. But I know in a relationship, the first thing is there's so much noise and everybody's in a me, me, want, want. I just gotta say, hey, listen, here's the relationship. Develop a true relationship where I don't want anything from it. I just wanna give. Because we're in a society where everybody's trying to get, but now they can realize, oh my God, they, he gave so much that clearly they understand the intention is true. And that builds trust. And when you trust somebody, then you'll tell, hey, listen, do you know this Chris Zeno guy, Dr. Zeno? I think he'd be really great for your stage. Or I think, you know, they, they, they want to then help you. What that does is that builds what I call favor capital. Remember, but all this has to start with the right intention. Favor capital would be like, like this. If someone says, hey, I enjoyed it. And I ask him, well, why? Or what can I do for you? Because now you're building favor capital. So I'm investing my time, you know, my, my resources, my energy. Here, hold my hand. Into helping them. So I might not have a following of a million people, but what I do have is my unique gifts and talents that I could do a video for them, or I could speak for them, or I could, if I really believe in them, I'll, I'll promote them, whatever I can do with nothing in return. So it creates favor capital. I think when you invest your time, your resources, with true intention to help them, to go out of your way, to almost work for free for them sometimes, you're not working for free, you're building favor capital. So favor capital might come two years from now, right? Two years from now when, you know, I connect with them and here I've been giving for two years and they say, well, what do you need? I say, well, I need this and they'll drop everything to help you get there. I make sure that when I speak at someone's stage, I respect the team so much. I, I'll, I'll, anything I can do, like they're telling me, can I help you? I'm like, what can I do to help you? So I'm helping them. I uplift them and are really me because I do appreciate what they do. I know my keynote is that one of giving and inspiration. I do a Q&A personally to be able to connect with the crowd. Another thing I do that speakers don't do, I'll get the survey of the meeting planner and say, well, what is the top two or three issues your, your audience is dealing with? So I know that ahead of time so I could speak to the audience, not just spit out my keynote. It's about them. And then I'll provide and I'll create a certain product for them for free. So when I'm done speaking, I could give the crowd something that they could then leave with or have or have access to that continues the conversation to go. And so when you do all that, it becomes something that stands out, it gives a lot of value. And what you're doing, you're building favor capital or favor equity. So when someone says, hey, I was thinking of hiring Dr. Zeno or, or what do you know about Dr. Zeno? They'll be like, are you kidding me? Went above and beyond to serve us when he was there for us to really serve him. And so that's favor capital but it has to be done with the right heart. Don't think it's just giving, it really is an investment. You are investing and that comes back in, in ways that money can never buy. So if you wanna get somewhere in life, that's what you do. I wanna to get to this point, but I don't know how to get from here to here. So then you start going out investing in others. And then when you invest in others, you invest enough and you serve enough, it won't be for long until they get behind you and they lift you up to the level that you desire to be. It's in a healthy way, it's in a win-win way, and it's the, the end result winds up becoming something greater than you ever thought possible.